Hi everyone, I'm Leah. And I'm David, and this is Wine Forecaster. Today we have an interesting wine. It's Miles Wine Cellar's 2012 Riesling. And this is something that Miles Wine Cellar we never ever heard of mm -hmm. until we actually saw the bottle of wine, which we found. Uh, we, we were out of town actually. We were in New York State. We were all, out near Albany and um, just raided a, a local wine store and happened to see this different label and uh, we were very curious. Yeah, so actually in, in, in whatever research that we could find online, we, yeah. it was, it was kind of hard to learn a lot about the, uh, oops, this just came off. It, it was kind of hard to learn about the uh, the wine itself. Uh, they, they do have a, a website, but it doesn't really have a whole lot on it. I think they've been around for... Since like, 2011, maybe. Yeah, but then on the bottle it says that it's Produced by Fox Run. Run. So they're on Seneca Lake, anyway, and uh, be interesting to see um, what they've got here. So this is a, a 2012 Riesling. Did you say that earlier, right? Yeah. Okay. And actually, we're going to do another review today. Um, <laughs> you get a two for one. <laughs> yeah. We're going to review something called Corsicle. And what this is, is a, is a stem that you. It's like a kind of like a plastic stem that you put in the freezer, and then you get it nice and cold, and you put it in your wine bottle. Well, it's basically a glorified icicle, um, so that you can chill your wine quickly mm -hmm. and simply. Um, so, say for instance, you forgot to put things in the in the fridge, and ahead of time. Yeah. yeah, and maybe you're headed off to. Uh, you know, a picnic or something like that, or you are somewhere and you just don't have room in your fridge, for instance. We're not going to taste it yet, but they do recommend that you take a little bit out first before you put this in. So this has already been chilled in the freezer. It's got a cork at the end, and we're going to insert it into the bottle. Great. We're going to need to take more out than that. So I guess you need more than a, than a sip. But we'll take it. All right, so we're gonna let this sit here for, I don't know, 20 minutes? Yeah. Let's try, you know, 20 minutes, we're gonna have a, uh, I'm not putting it on the floor. <laughs> and you know, we'll come back in 20 minutes and, and see if it's cold. The bottle is room temperature right now. And uh, let's see what it does. It's, okay, we'll be back. All right, well, we're back. And um, actually after about 20 minutes, I checked the bottle by hand and it still felt kind of, I could feel a little bit of chill on it. But it wasn't really, and it wasn't cold. So we actually went 30 minutes to see, and uh, the bottle's yeah, it's colder. Um, the device was kind of frozen, it's still frozen up at this end here. Yeah. It was frozen initially when we when we put it in, but it's defrosted now. Well, let's try it and see. Having a you know tasting a uh, white wine actually when it's room temperature is actually acceptable. Acceptable. Um, I don't think that's how you want to drink it when you're at home, though. So, so it's a uh, a nice yellow color. Mm -hmm. Decent nose on there. It, it actually it smells a little bit of honey. Mm -hmm. uh, it smells almost like this is going to be a a, a sweet. Sweeter, reason. yeah, I agree with that too. You get like uh, tropical fruits in there, like papaya. Semi dry. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's uh, it's kind of right in, in the middle of the continuum. Yeah. I think it's not it's as not... sweet as I thought it was going to yeah. be, just from the nose, <laughs> which is fine. So in terms of coldness, um, it's mm. it's it, I would like it a little more chilled if I was having this at um, you know with guests. But for tasting, it just between uh, the three of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually uh, it's actually quite nice. The 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 taste is it's it's not very crisp. It's a little mellow. Um, it, it, do, it does have a little bit of a, I get a little honeysuckle. Um, citrus components. Citrus. Um, a little bit of slate in there. I almost get like, um, not pepper, but there's something else in there that, that's more of a, an earthy note, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Interesting wine, how much is this? I don't remember, what do we pay? <laughs> I'll have to check the receipt and uh, I'll put it on the, uh, on the, on the uh, label of our video. Unfortunately, they didn't have the price of this on their website, yeah. so we went to a particular store where they may have discounted 
um, all of their products. Right. It was more of a discount warehouse type of place. So. Right, and that's pretty typical. A lot of times when you um, go to the wine stores, you'll get it a little cheaper than you will at the winery. Not all the time, but um, actually the wineries oftentimes will encourage you to go and, and purchase the product at the wine stores because that's how they do a lot of business and if you don't buy at the wine store then then the wineries don't get carried them or the you know labels don't get carried them right so all right well miles wine cellars 2012 uh riesling um yeah. Seneca Lake Seneca Winery Lake. and an, in. and they got it in there yeah uh, so you know look up their website and uh see what you can learn about them and uh if you're down that area you might want to visit them yeah all right well we appreciate your uh sitting down and visiting with us as we uh, test out this uh, wine and the uh, Corksicle. Corksicle, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm David. And I'm Leah. Thanks for joining us on Wine Forecaster.